Hello to everyone watching this video. It's Leviathan here again. And to start things off, I'm going to introduce myself to newcomers. I'm born high functioning autistic. I'm obsessed with fiction. And I'm planning to make my own creative universe like the late Stanley did. This particular video, I'm going to introduce four different things. A creature, a imperfect duplicate, a hero, and her daughter. And it has to be four, so that way you could understand the daughter by introducing the parent as well. So I hope you guys bear with me when I introduce them to you. The first one's going to be the creature. I hope you enjoy. Barilantula. Real name, inapplicable. Height, 40 feet long. Weight, 10.3 tons. Status, villain, and creation of Dr. Scream. Base, mobile. Intelligence, three brains. Behavior, savage, craven, and destructive. It'll do anything to cure its hunger. Lethality, horrendously lethal. It's also very persistent. Weaknesses, explosives, and stab wounds. Powers, it is the body of a barracuda and the legs and eye number of a tarantula. It's a fast swimmer, can climb on flat surfaces, can spray silk from its mouth, and possesses razor-sharp teeth. Eyes, deep green, in total of eight. Hair, none. Origin. After the defeat of the Barraconda, Dr. Scream decided to create an organism that's half Barracuda and half Tarantula. Naming it the Barralantula, Scream commanded it to destroy the rough White House of the default Earth. However, the Barralantula ended up being battling and getting killed by the presidential lovely Liz. Failing once again, Dr. Scream created the Barilantula for future events. Costume, none. Team, solitary, for Dr. Scream or other creatures. Original inspiration, barracudas and tarantulas. The next one I'll introduce is the imperfect duplicate of the character Captain Slime. So I hope you could bear with me. Captain Tintacal. Real name? None. Height? 5 feet 10 inches. Weight? 161 pounds. Status? Anti-hero and rival of Captain Slime. Face? Quirky dimension? Mobile. Intelligence? Two brains. Behavior? Loopy yet willful. She always enjoys helping others. Lethality? Only during a fight. Weaknesses, low IQ and being rivaled. Powers, she has similar powers as Captain Slime, along with wielding non-lethal space pirate weapons. She also travels in her own space pirate ship, the Twisty Mate. Eyes, light green for left eye. Hair, light brown, scruffy, and filled with lice. Origin, in the quirky dimension, the native Captain Slime is an imperfect duplicate of her, known only as Captain Tintacal. One day, Tintacal and her twisty mate got transported by Vortex to the default dimension, where she encountered her default counterpart. Slime then convinced her to help get enough valuables to resurrect her home planet of Vercanus. Eventually, Captain Cosmic and Captain Space came by and defeated Captain Slime, in a space fight, and later explained to Team Takao that Slime has a warm heart, but also some cold hands. Since then, Captain Team Takao will only team up with Captain Slime if there weren't any other options available. Costume. She wears a similar outfit as Captain Slime. Teams, solitary, with Cra Captain Slime, and others. Original inspiration, Captain Slime and DC's Bizarro. This is the character that I have to introduce to help you guys with comprehension. So bear with me, please. Dark Angel. Real name, Nancy Hubbard. Height, 6 feet, 5.5 inches, varied. Weight, 214 pounds, varied. Status, hero, an angel of darkness. Base, mobile. Intelligence, 3.5 brains. Behavior, willful, relentless, and protective. She'll do anything to protect the innocents from most threats. Lethality. Only when anchored or during a fight. 
weaknesses, cosmic forces, and thoughts of failure. Powers. She has all angel and demon demon based powers. She has a pair of silverish blue angel wings that allow flight through space. She wields a pair of soul guns that are able to vaporize the soul. She can wear her all seeing glasses that grant her with cosmic awareness. Eyes greenish blue, hair silverish black and short. Origin Nancy Hubbard was a 35-year-old woman who died in a car crash. And after her death, she was visited by Reaper. After pleading with Reaper to let her live another life, Reaper allowed Nancy at the cost of becoming an Angel of Darkness. Calling herself Dark Angel, Nancy would since spend her time fighting corrupt spirits and became an ally of Dentrony and a new member of the Paranormal Defense. Costume she wears a feathery leather outfit that matches her wings. Team Solitary, with the Paranormal Defense, and other heroes. Order Inspiration, Bayonetta. The last one is the character that I needed help with and therefore introduced Dark Angel to. Just to do you guys a favor. Dark Lover. Real name, Destiny Hubbard. Height and weight vary. Status Hero in Daughter, Daughter of Dark Angel. Base Mobile. Intelligence Three and a Half Brains. Behavior Loving and Protective. She will always honor her mother. Lethality Only when threatened or during a fight. Weaknesses Cosmic Forces and Being Rival. Powers She possesses similar powers as her mother, along with uncanny persuasion skills and being a good guesser. Eyes Sky Blue, Hair Bright Red and Flowy. Origin. One time, Dark Angel found that she's somehow pregnant with a daughter, and when her daughter was born, she decided to name her Destiny. When Destiny grew to adulthood in a matter of weeks, she developed her destined powers and was oddly willing to help her mother with almost any objective. When a school of ferocious space products attempted to eat the solar system, Destiny teamed with her mother to destroy the swarm. Naming herself Dark Lover, Destiny would always help her mother and other heroes whenever needed. Costume? She dresses in all kinds of unitards. Teams? Solitary? With her mother and other heroes. Origin Operation? Dark Angel. Well, I hope those four themes are comprehensible for you guys, and I hope things work out properly. And just so you know, I'm still trying to figure out how to post that 10th anniversary celebration video on my podcast, but I'm still trying to gain contact with my Uncle Mike for it. And I'm also planning to get a new microphone and a video camera, so that way once I'm in Westport, I could be able to have the video camera record my experience, and therefore you guys would have a better understanding of how I am as a person, and hopefully would boost my recognition. I hope you guys understand that. If you guys want, you could like, subscribe, comment down below, and share if you want. It's your choice. And I hope you guys have a fine Independence Day, Stars and Stripes. And until next time, in transmission.